heat most of this upcoming week again all the way out until we get till next weekend when that next cold front arrives. Take a look at those current temperatures right now across northwest Arkansas. These temperatures aren't anything to joke with right now. Our actual temperatures are above the triple digits at Fayetteville 101 currently those high 90s all across northwest Arkansas and across the River Valley. We're seeing those excessively hot temperatures once again for today. Greenwood reading a temperature that real temperature around 106 currently 103 in Fort Smith 102 in Oak Ozark and 102 in Clarksville. And I tell you what, the relief is not coming back into the forecast again until we get into next weekend. Taking a look at what it feels like outside when we factor in that humidity 118 currently in Fort Smith around 120 in Salisaw and uh, above the 110 mark across Northwest Arkansas. Those dew point values right now not reaching up into the 80s, but definitely reaching up into those high 70s. Now we can expect to see this humidity continue to grow throughout most of this upcoming week again until we get to the following weekend expected wind gusts throughout the rest of the night tonight. Not too bad, but enough to where the point we're going to see it feel a little bit more comfortable. When we start to see a little bit of wind, that starts to make us feel a little bit better, but those wind gusts only into the single digits throughout the overnight hours. Now, heading into tomorrow, we're going to be seeing those daytime, uh, those morning temperatures into the 70s and 80s, but for Monday afternoon, that's when we see another day with temperatures reaching up to the triple digits and factoring in the humidity, we could see those heat index values anywhere from 110 to 115 once again to start off the week. Tracking our Humidity throughout the rest of this week. Again, going to be remaining in uh, these uh, high levels all the way out through Friday. Saturday is when that next cold front is expected to arrive, and we finally could see some relief back into the forecast. But we got to go all week long with the potential for this excessive and dangerous heat throughout the rest of this week. This high pressure system, what's bringing this heat to northwest Arkansas and the River Valley, is just kind of hovering around us over the next several days and creating a lot of sunshine, no rain chances, and no relief in these temperatures. Again, until we get to in the weekend. Take a look at those heat index values going to be hovering around that 110 to 115 mark throughout the first half of this upcoming week. Let's take a look at those seven day forecasts. Again, temperatures are reading. This is what a real temperature is going to be like. You can add about 10 degrees to what these numbers are going to actually feel like through Friday. Excessive heat all throughout the rest of this upcoming week across the River Valley. Temperature is going to be anywhere uh, between 100 and 105 throughout the rest of this upcoming week until we get to Friday heading into the upcoming weekend. That's when that cold front arrives. And we're going to see, be seeing some cooler temperatures. We're still talking about temperatures going to be into the mid 90s by the time we get to next weekend. This week we had something similar to this earlier on in the summer where we saw these crazy numbers starting to pop up. Yeah. This week is going to be very similar to that where we've got to remind people to stay hydrated. If you're working outside, try to find some shade mm -hmm. and avoid being outside as much as possible. We've got football games coming up. We've got football oh, yeah. practices this week. we got athletes. It's very important to take this heat seriously because, as we've talked about several times, yeah, this summer. can be potentially dangerous. Yep, you guys heard it from Steven, but let's check in with Jacob at Sports.